Okay, we got our ballistic gel here, and we got our uh, we got dead center shot. Let me show you. Good shooting. As you can tell, on impact, this Sierra SBT just ripped through this ballistic gel. And I'm going to show you kind of both sides before we cut it open. Shrapnel from that round came out both sides of the block, the top of the block, top of the block the other side of the block and don't forget the bottom of the block now it's getting hard to handle at this point um, but basically that you can tell immediately that lead came apart and um, just sent shrapnel all through this ballistic gel uh, let's get my knife out here all right get my knife out oh, here oh man all right I'll remember one of these days uh, I'm in my weekend pants. And I guess not in your pajamas, Liz. Not in my pajamas. That's great. Yeah. Every once in a while I make it out of them. But uh, let's slice this baby open. Now, no matter what I do, I'm going to disturb the wound track here, so it's going to be hard to demonstrate that. Just because it's done so much damage, uh, it's going to be hard to protect that point. But uh, man, that wind. Yeah, that wind is something fierce. Welcome to the Ozarks. Raining 41 week, 75 and windy the next. This is the bullet track to this uh, 165 grain SBT. I gotta speak up a little bit. This wind is killing us. Um, you can see lead fragments. Well, you probably can't see, but there's micro lead fragments all through it. We're just breaking apart, and uh, I'm looking to make sure the bullet's not in here. I don't see any major pieces. Bullets. So we'll uh, discard this. This is the first block. So I that wind died in a little bit. As you can see, it is a brutal round. That is going to do a lot of damage. Alright, let's get rid of this part. There was no big fragments in that piece? No big fragments at all. Um, any copper? I didn't see any copper. It was just a small, real small fragments. Um, we got to upgrade our table. Yeah, our table is getting a little rough. All right. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a bullet hole right here. Now, it's something I forgot to mention. The flight of the bullet was pretty consistent. It didn't go up or down. The level of the, the block it was shot in the, in the front block, he shot about middle, a little bit low, and that's where it impacted on the second find some sort of bullet in here but I expect it to be uh, missing quite a bit of it just because of the amount of shrapnel in the first block so I'm gonna cut it right down the middle and we'll uh, we will start investigating from there well that's a good knife you have that is a good knife what US Army oh. Oh my gosh, there it is. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, um, yeah, she is. It's all shiny and. Oh, the bullet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a. Uh, man, that's a good. I don't know if you can tell the wound track. Let me see if I can get this closer. How's that look? All right, there's the wound track right there. I don't know if you can tell, but there's bullet or lead fragments chasing the bullet. So uh, that's pretty amazing. It was still breaking apart as it was traveling through, and then it stopped. So you can see the trail it left behind. So in a you know in a game, you can imagine what this is going to do is it's ripping through bone and flesh. It's going to be leaving lead behind. 
Now as a hunter, you probably don't want this. It's a that is a lethal. Let's cut it out there. And show it. Um, none. I mean, I, no bones about it. That right there is a lethal bullet. Wow. But now we need to go weigh that too. Yeah, we're gonna weigh this, and I'll I'll put a I'll put that in the uh, end of this video. So here's the front of it. You can see how it kind of there's not really a mushroom of any kind. It's a uh, it's more of a a melting, like it melted and folded back as it went. It's not really a mushroom per se. Um, there's the base of it. It stayed intact pretty good. That is a beautiful work of art right there. It is. Sierra 165 SBT, right? Yes. Yep. And um, I, I, I ain't no bones about it. This is a, this is a lethal round. It's going it's going to kill whatever you whatever you shoot with it. Uh, we've shot a lot of deer with this with this round, and it it lays them out, no question asked. But um, this is a good comparison between. Um, uh, between the uh, the um, help me out here the tipped bullets like the yep. Hornady's the Barnes the ones where they have the tips where they have a Nosler. uniform Nosler's another one where they have the uniform expansion so this one it's a lead a lead face and it um, excuse me, lead nose and uh, as it as it expands or as it's traveling through the media whatever your media may be. The, uh, the lead is forced back in the jacket, the jacket peels back. Nothing re re uniform or, or consistent about it. It's just acting like you would, you would expect it to. It's just going to fold back, expand up more than its diameter. And uh, it's going to do a lot of damage. So I like that. That's a, that was a good test. Now this compared to a tipped. We done our tipped uh, 300 blackout test last week. What do you think? Well, uh, no, that is in a 308, and the other one was in a uh, 300 blackout, which the velocity was a lot smaller, and the bullet was 30 grains uh, heavier. This bullet was 30 grains heavier. Yes. Uh, we need to do the barns in a 308 with a comparable uh, velocity, but I'm very happy with that bullet. It oh, shoots I wonderful in my 308, and it's very accurate. And I, like you said, we've we've taken many a deer with it, and they don't they, they don't get up. No, they don't get up. So. Well, you know, and what I was kind of I don't know what I'm thinking is, you got this. It's a wild expansion. It's nothing consistent about it. It's just going to expand however it, however it travels through the media. If it hits a bone, it's gonna it may be expanded more on one side or mushroom more on one side. It, it's just gonna it's gonna react how it impacts whatever media. What was the range on that? 100, 100 yards. All, all of our ballistic gel tests from now on, minus pistols, will be 100 yards because that's pretty much what we hunt at. Um, if we get any farther out, we may do some farther ballistic testing, but uh, for right now, our hunting is 50 to 100 yards. So. And now we chronographed that bullet, but we didn't do it today. But we chronographed that same load, it was 2780 an average. So at 100 yards, it might be 27. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think that uh, if you're looking for a good, cheap hunting bullet, Sierra 165s can't go wrong. As you can tell, it's gonna put them down. And it traveled through one block and a little over, a little under a quarter of, of the second block. So it's it's putting on some energy. Um, so if you're looking for a cheap, Target slash deer hunting round. There you go. Sierra 